Hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I don't have any big announcements today. Um, this weekend, they're deciding about church camp, so I'll keep you posted about that. Um, there's a chance we could start having church here at the church soon in the next month or so, but it doesn't look like we will be able to have youth group anytime soon, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, let's see. I have my... My God Gong here today, and today my I will be ringing the God Gong um, because I am thankful for the Arnold family. The Arnold family did a little fun scavenger hunt for our family yesterday, and we drove around town and found several different clues and um, some supplies to make spaghetti. So that was a lot of fun. So my God Gong today is rung for the Arnold family. Thanks guys. Um, so last week's theme was about media and I gave you guys some, um, some ways that you could bring God more into your social media lives and I linked to on our Instagram account which is this if you don't have it at FCC Cherokee Youth. I linked on there several Instagram accounts that that you guys could follow that have Bible verses each day or or quotes about Jesus each day and just some ideas that you could follow to to bring God more into that Instagram feed. Um, today's theme is the truth about kindness. And um, obviously we don't wake up each morning and plan on being mean to people. It's not most people's goal in life. Um, but the truth is that sometimes we just aren't very nice. And we make these excuses like, I'm just not in a good mood today, or that person doesn't deserve for me to be nice to them, or they treat people poorly, so they should be treated poorly. Um, and how many of you know somebody that's hard to get along with? I do. Um, maybe that person is annoying, maybe they're too loud, maybe they're mean themselves, maybe they're selfish, or whatever. Um, but as hard as it is, the Bible tells us that being kind to people isn't optional. Um, it's not something that we can that we can pick or choose to do. Um, we are supposed to love others because God loved us, and it's just that simple. Um, so, I googled why we should practice random acts of kindness, and I found this article, and it was by Ideal Magazine, and they had five reasons for us to be kind. So first, our first reason from Ideal Magazine is you can change someone's life. Um, you could brighten someone's day, or you might even change their whole way of thinking. You can um, have an influence on somebody's life just because you're kind to them. Second, kindness is a cycle. Kindness is contagious. That means if we are kind to this person, they might be kind to the next person. Um, if somebody around us is kind, it inspires us to be kind too. Number three, it makes you happy. Just helping somebody, they have done studies, um, activates this feel good chemical in our brains. You've heard of it, maybe dopamine. Um, and just being kind to people activates that and makes us feel good. So it, it makes us happy to be nice. Um, for example, an example about this is that our family, I started out a few weeks ago having them do letter writing Wednesday. And at first there were some grumbles and, oh, we have to write letters and um, hesitation. But today when we did those letters, nobody complained. And my kids have learned that when people receive those letters, it brings those people great joy. It makes their day. And knowing that, knowing that you made somebody smile really just makes you feel good inside and it makes you want to do it again. So we enjoy our letter writing Wednesdays. All right, I, back to Ideal Magazine. The number four reason to do random acts of kindness is it, it reduces stress. Um, being kind uh, enhances our mental well-being, which in turn lowers the amount of stress hormones we produce. We produce. So being kind enhances our Mental well-being, it reduces stress. And number five is the best one, the funniest one, uh, the most humorous. And they found that random acts of kindness make you more attractive. Um, research shows that people's that people rate people's faces 
as that people's faces that look kind more attractive than their other people's faces. So if you're a person who is is kind and looks kind, I guess you are better looking. So um, from Ideal Magazine, those are all good reasons to be kind. But the main reason that we are to be kind is because the Bible tells us to. And a couple verses that say that is Philippians 2, 4, which says, None of you should look out for just your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. And then Romans 15, 2 said, Each of us should please our neighbors. Let us do for them. Let us do good for them in order to build them up. So those are two out of lots and lots of examples of the Bible telling us, look out for the good of others, take care of your neighbors, love your neighbors, do good for your neighbors. So there you have it. Um, several reasons to go out and be kind to people today, do random acts of kindness, make a positive influence in your little bubble today, in your little circle of, of life. All right, see you next time. Bye.